Christine, that's C-H-R-I-S-T-I-N-E. Last name is Dolman, D-O-L-E-M-A-N. We're getting ready to deploy. It's very important, this is our job. This is what we came into the Navy for, protect our country. So going on deployment is what we gotta do. Well, I'm part of the damage control training team. And over the last few months, we spent the whole entire time training our sailors in damage control and um, casualty, um, casualty controls. I am a Religious Program Specialist Chief Hector Feliciano. Yes, uh, first name is Hector, H-E-C-T-O-R, last name Feliciano, F as in Foxtrot, E-L-I-C-I-A-N-O. Uh, we are getting ready to go on deployment today. That's why we are here. Um, because that's what Navy ships do. They sail, um, they train, um, and you know all the training that we we accomplished um, is to um, is for this day, so that we can go on deployment and put that training to use. Um, you know that's that's what that's what sailors do. We sail. We we go to different countries. We uh, you know protect the United States, and um, you know that's why we serve. So. A um, lot of training evolutions, um, you know, damage control, mass casualties, first aid, uh, you know, many GQs, general quarters, for those who don't know what GQ is. Um, just a, a lot of time, sweat, effort, you know, time away from home, duty days, and, uh, you know, now we're going to go on deployment and, and put all this training to use. So. Uh, words of advice, I would say, uh, you know, stay motivated. There's definitely a lot to do on the ship. I mean, there's going to be uh, there's a lot of qualifications, a lot of trainings that um, sailors can can knock out, get done. Um, sailors will will normally come back a lot better after deployment, meaning fully qualified, uh, air pins surface, um, you know, and then they, they get to see uh, a lot of different countries, uh, meet some new people along the way. Um, so it'll, it'll be fun and it'll be exciting. Uh, I'm so pleased and proud of the Harry S. Truman Carrier Strike Group team. 6,500 of uh, the finest Americans you could ever sail with or serve with. Uh, we're trained, we're ready. Any mission, anytime, anywhere, we're ready to go. And uh, I'm just so pleased and proud to be a part of this strike group and this organization. There's a couple folks I think I'd really like to highlight First off, our sailors, they're magnificent. Uh, they've worked so hard uh, from start to finish in this training, and they are ready to go. And uh, morale is high, you know, the families are a little sad, and they're our sailors pretending they're sad, they really want to go to sea, because that's what we do. And I think the last thing I'd like to say is every American should take great pride in these young men and women. I've got them from every state, from every walk of life, from every educational background, they all come together. We're serving a common mission, and they do difficult things in difficult places, and we're ready to go. So uh, all of America should take great pride in these young men and women. We're ready for any mission, anywhere, anytime. We, we've trained for operating in the East Med with the Sixth Fleet. We've trained to operate in the Arabian Gulf with the Fifth Fleet, and we've trained to operate in the South China Sea with the Seventh Fleet. The President can send us wherever he wants with whatever mission he's got, and we're ready to go. In terms of nervousness, every sailor who goes to sea and every sailor who flies an airplane onto that great ship has some nervousness, and that's good, because it makes them cautious and it makes them careful. And, uh, but we're ready for any mission anywhere. We've got the German frigate Hessen. It is a remarkably capable ship with an outstanding crew. Uh, we started a relationship with them over a year ago, and they came over for some of our planning conferences. They just completed the certification exercise. It took over a month. They were fully integrated as a full partner. They will do every mission that they are capable of doing. And let me tell you, that's a powerful warship. So Harry S. Truman is ready to deploy. And while that's a relatively simple statement, uh, I will tell you we take a lot of pride. Uh, and that's a testament to a lot of things. That's a testament to the hard work, the grit, and determination of the men and women of Truman uh, and Truman Strike. It's a testament to their family and friends who support them and us in all of our endeavors. And quite frankly, uh, it's a testament to the entire local community as well. Our ships don't sail, our aircraft don't fly, 
without the folks who live and work here in the Hampton Roads area uh, who make sure that we are material ready and professionally ready uh, to deploy. So as we head out the door on what I'm sure will be a exciting, unpredictable and phenomenal deployment, uh, the last message from us is thanks you to, uh, to Hampton Roads for everything you do for us. For